Hey guys. So, this is my Harbor Freight miter saw. And like most Harbor Freight products, um, yeah, gets the job done, but, you know, has its own set of problems. And if you look back here, you can kind of see that I've already popped the linear bearings out. But um, in this video, I kind of wanted to walk through some of the things that I've done to try and help the performance of this saw be a little bit more accurate. In terms of power and stuff, it has no issues cutting through things. You, I bought a nice blade, and that works fine. So the real issues that we're going to work on is <clears throat> when I pulled when I pulled this back and forth, the bearings were just horrible. They were jumping and bouncing, and it just made cutting things really sketchy when you're like doing this. <laughs> and the second thing is this fence basically is not actually straight. It's kind of a V shape, so it goes in this way and out this way. And I'll show you that measurement in a little bit and the uh, sled that we're going to make to, or the fence rather, that we're going to make to try and replace that. So once I got this opened up, I found something interesting. Um, these are just sitting in here so I don't have to hammer them out again. I had to use a piece of wood and heat up the housing to make sure that they could actually come out. But what was interesting is these bearings here, these linear bearings, there was actually, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but one was actually missing from this back. Uh, I'll put a picture up so you can see what it was looking like when I still had them in there. But these bearings here are, here they are, LM30UUs. And what was interesting is when I was shopping online, um, turns out that this size, this diameter right here, I believe is, uh, I think it was like 30 millimeters, 45 millimeters. And then by like the spec, you can see these are also LM30 UUs. And they're all significantly larger, which is kind of interesting. These are all about 65 millimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I took these out, the existing one, and we're actually going to be putting these new bearings in here. And they'll be a little, they'll stick out a little bit, but that might actually or at least the theory I have, is that that's actually going to help us get a little bit more rigidity in the arm here. So we'll probably push these back so that they align right here. And um, this one sticking out here, you can actually see that it's not much different than the little tiny bearing that was already there. So we're going to go from literally having one of these and two of these on one side to literally having two sets of these on both. So I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of wood and some clamps and see if I can push these out. So I have this bearing here with the housing and just in a clamp and we're gonna see if we can just slowly work it in. And it's not going in straight. So I was able to get it started by tapping it in with a rubber mallet just to kind of get it straight. I kept trying to get like all cockeyed. So I'm going to try and mount it back here again and see how that works with the clamp. Here we go. This is working a little bit better. So I'll just keep repeating until this bearing is all the way in. And now the first bearing is in. So I um, used a whole bunch of different clamps. I uh, had to tap it in a little bit with the hammer. Um, got my great heat gun over there. Yeah. That helped a lot, actually, <laughs> even with just a hairdryer, putting the heat on here while it was clamped inside um, definitely helped. It's kind of cold out today. It's like 40 degrees, so um, it was pretty easy, actually, to make the wood expand. Probably need to add a uh, nice heat gun to my list. But, so you can see we have, um, I don't know, fingers length, um, available space in there. I'm going to put the other bearing in this one first in the front and we're going to see how the action of the actual slide um how the actual uh, slide action goes and we'll see if we need to install the one in the rear i probably will anyways but we'll just see how it goes incrementally Whew. all right so these are <laughs> intense to get in here but after using uh, a couple of these different clamps finally got this in here lord whoo be nice if I probably had the right tools to do this kind of stuff. Ooh, all right, so got two bearings in. Uh, they're not 
not super flush, but I think it's going to be fine enough. Um, so we have these cover plates, and I think it'll do a good enough job. Like, I don't know if they really served much of a purpose before, because there was tons of dust in there anyways. But, anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the saw, I'm going to throw it in there, and we'll see how well it slides. Hmm. Uh, well, I'll just let you listen for yourself. Watch my hand, how much is it shaking? I, uh, not too impressed, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, the bearings are dry. Maybe let me get some grease inside them and see if it makes any difference. All right much better unfortunately all i had was like wet grease so these are going to get dirty fast but one thing i noticed too which i think i need to install the rear bearings is so if i hold if i put pressure down on the slide while i slide it it gets very stuck and it's almost uh bouncy if i lift up and make the pressure more equal the sliding action is gorgeous so I think with those extra bearings in the rear, like let's see if I can show you this when I lift up. I don't know if you can really see it, but inside there it needs more of the bearing support to hold the weight of this saw head. So I'm going to go ahead and install the real bearings, grease them first this time, because <laughs> trying to get up in there with a tiny little nail to grease all these was a pain in the butt. So I'm going to install the rear too, and we'll see how that looks. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. I'll slid in. Oh, yes. So much better. Let me push really hard down. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Night and day difference. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. So, clearly, there's going to be sticking out a little bit. And clearly, this is going to cut down on my available cutting depth or cutting length but honestly for how smooth that is now it's totally worth the trade so i'm gonna go ahead and get the back put together with some of the parts and we're gonna see how it looks well discovered my first problem of probably many the uh the lock <laughs> for this uh slide here um now you can't see it, but there is now a bearing right there. So, uh, yeah, I've lost the ability to lock the sled in place. Um, maybe I'll think of something in the future to maybe like swing around here and connect like some kind of swivel piece. Um, but in the meantime, I'm not too worried about it. It's so smooth right now that a lot of the scary jerky behavior that it had before isn't really going to be a problem so I'll just save this and see if I can use it for something else <laughs> um, but I also moved these wipers inside the brackets the rubber wipers so now it actually does its job and tries to keep some sawdust out of there uh, but on the back well it's just pretty bare so yeah we'll see so other than that uh, I think we're pretty much done with this uh, little upgrade it has its uh Pros and cons, it's definitely a non-trivial task. Uh, it took me probably about an hour and a half with the uh, limited tools that I have for this kind of job. Definitely needed like an actual heat gun to heat that part up. Um, and maybe some stronger, better clamps other than the little Harbor Freight ones <laughs> to try and get those bearings in there. But the results though, I, I, I'm happy. I'm super glad that now I can slide that in and out. Um, also, it'd probably be better if I didn't have um, grease for the lubrication. Maybe some kind of like, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the non, non liquidy kind of grease. Graphite. There you go. Maybe a graphite would have been better lubrication for that. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a lot better than it was. Um, I'll link to the bearings that I got um, off of Amazon. And yeah. So I'll probably have to figure something out with this whole locking thing. Maybe there is probably the best bet I can find. But 
we'll see. In the meantime, I'm super happy. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Let me know how you guys would have done it better and how I messed things up. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Bye.